So hi all. Uh, my name is uh, Parag Parag Srivastava, and I work. Oh, you can take the mic. Oh. <laughs> just just oh. grab it if you want. Yeah. All right, all right. Thank you. Thanks for the suggestion. So, so my name is Parag uh, Parag Srivastava, and I work for McCassin Corporation. Uh, today, I thought maybe as a brief part of lightning talk, uh, just share like the type of opportunities that are there in a healthcare and pharmaceutical space and type of challenges that are there and maybe uh, that, that creates some insight into your mind as to what are some of the things, if you are in that space or looking into that space, what are the things that you could look for? So that's my thought process. Uh, with that, uh, I'll, this is the only slide actually that I have. And this is, I represent the company McCasson. Uh, McCasson is a Fortune 6 company world's largest wholesaler of pharmaceutical equipments uh, or pharmaceutical uh, drugs and also uh, about medical surgical products and also clinical products. So roughly uh, spread worldwide. And what we are using basically is four aspects. So business areas are like our procurement, warehousing, distribution, clinical side. We are patient. Uh, how do we give patient comes to a pharmacy, gets gets his pharmacy, goes back. So those are the type of areas that we are looking at. And uh, second area is more about like, there are tons of opportunities. Every step, uh, there are opportunities for us to increase revenue or uh, sort of improve costs. So how we can do better negotiation, how we can engage the patient better, and uh, shipping, tracking, and others. Lessons learned, if you are uh, in that space, and one of the things that we learned is, so we have optimized a lot of use cases, especially using our Python uh, modules. But uh, data hygiene has is because has been like one of the top top criteria that we really have seen as as the one. Uh, and uh, one way to solve it is uh, is something that we are creating in our developers catalog itself, like how we can hygiene some of that data. The second aspect is data security, data rights, especially like let's say if you are dealing with patient information, so it's uh, their height, weight, their diagnosis, procedure, things like that. How can you take that data? And one of the ways that we are thinking is if we find certain pattern of those characters, can we tag that data uh, appropriately, like sensitive, high sensitivity, low sensitivity, things like that. And also, what do we expect? So. Auto, uh, you could say, like auto-labeling, if you will. We are trying that. Uh, it's not there yet, but that's one thing that we are trying to do. So I think that is one uh, area that we found. And then obviously large data, so roughly like you can say two million uh, like orders, if, you, if I take two million order lines per day, 245 million uh, total orders, if you will. So pretty large uh, data that comes in dealing with that. So I think those are the main uh, main things. And then uh, in our development areas, I think data EDA and data cleansing has become the top activity. So our data engineer engineers uh, from our data engineering group, we are actively involved in how we can develop this. And uh, second is data tagging. Uh, this is the use case that I told you. One is if the data comes from multiple areas, how we can auto-label it uh, uh, sort of thing, and then also tag it as sensitive, non-sensitive type of information in which category. And uh, Python has been working well for us. I mean, in terms of our models, clustering, and uh, the optimizations that we are doing with boosting others. So I think that is uh, pretty much uh, what I wanted to cover uh, in the whole uh, slide. But I think those are the areas. Any question that uh, comes up, if you will? You have, you have uh, two minutes, if you'd like. Sure. Sorry, one minute. One minute. So any question? Yeah. Uh, what are these data tags? So one thing that we just started was uh, looking at, like, let's say, some kind of using, uh, using the giving the training data, if you will, like, let's say, for example, where we say addresses, names, and other things. Like, if we find a similar pattern, train the model. So I think that is one thing that we are trying to do. And also if sort of giving data stewards, if you will call, who manage the data, a right to 
put in some information therein, where they can put in information and modern can relearn, if you will. A round of applause, thank you. Thank you.